Matthew D. Lieberman, Social, Why Our Brains Are Wired to Connect. Dive into the fascinating world of social, why our brains are wired to connect by Matthew D. Lieberman, as we explore the human brain's innate affinity for social thinking. In this engrossing book, discover how the default network in our brains instinctually prompts us to dwell on social interactions, how our social needs and mentalizing abilities develop over time, and the impact of our social surroundings on self-control. We'll also examine how our sense of a self is influenced by societal beliefs and values and reveal the significant role social factors play in our overall happiness and workplace success. The Innate Social Brain The brain's default network becomes active during downtime prompting us to contemplate social interaction, a concept called social cognition. This tool for understanding social affairs is innate and a result of evolution, even present in newborn babies. Research suggests that we spend roughly three hours a day on social thinking, making us all experts in social living by the age of 10. The Importance of Social Needs The human brain is a complex machine that requires nurturing care for proper development. Caregivers provide the most crucial need for newborns, and mammals have a built-in system that triggers distress signals when threatened. Social needs are essential to our well-being and wired into our brains. We experience social pain similarly to physical agony. This concept was supported by a study using an fMRI scanner that showed that both types of pain activate the same area of the brain. Our mind-reading abilities. Humans are wired to read each other's minds to a certain extent. This mentalizing ability helps us understand the thoughts behind people's behavior, which scientists call theory of mind. Mentalizing happens all the time and is not limited to humans. We tend to see motives in everything we see, as demonstrated in studies. However, mentalizing is a complex process that takes time to learn, as demonstrated by the Sally Ann task carried out in the 1980s. The Social Brain the brain is wired for social behavior and our sense of self is heavily influenced by the social world. Our beliefs and values are transported by the dorsomedial prefrontal cortex, MPFC, the part of the brain activated when we talk about ourselves or what others think about us. A study by Lieberman showed that our intentions and behavior are shaped by the social environment. The MPFC also plays a role in increasing sunscreen usage among respondents who were shown pro-sunscreen infomercials. Self-control, the key to success. The Marshmallow Test is a study that revealed the correlation between self-control and success. Only a few children could resist the temptation to eat a marshmallow right away to get two later. The self-controlled kids performed better in SATs, had better health outcomes and higher income. Self-control can be encouraged by social surroundings, like the Panopticon thought experiment by Jeremy Bentham. The mere possibility of being watched can trigger greater self-restraint and compliance. Self-control isn't only about keeping people in line, but it is useful for the societies in which we live. Encouraging self-control can lead to longer life, more contribution, and better societal benefits. The Power of Social Incentives the idea that money can buy happiness has been debunked, yet we still prioritize wealth above social factors, which are crucial to our overall well-being. Several studies show that social factors, such as volunteering and having meaningful relationships, have a more significant impact on personal happiness than a salary increase. Social incentives also play a significant role in workplace success. Research shows that social recognition and rewards are more effective motivators than financial incentives. Evolution has hardwired us to prioritize social matters, and understanding this can help us understand ourselves, our motivations, and our behavior. As we wrap up our journey through social, why our brains are wired to connect. It becomes evident that our brains are remarkably attuned to the social dimension of our lives, shaped by evolution to prioritize social matters. We now understand that our brains automatically engage in social cognition during inactivity, 
that our self-concept is informed by societal pressures, and that social incentives play a crucial role in our well-being and success. This exploration has revealed that by comprehending the integral link between our brain biology and social behavior, we can gain valuable insights into our motivations, actions, and personal and professional development.